Hello everybody, I'm Steve, 84XT, and welcome to Ham Radio Portable. Well, it's another Saturday, and uh, the governor issued a stay-at-home order yesterday, but uh, after I got looking into it, a few of my friends emailed me. There's a couple of provisions in it that uh, let you get out and exercise, and one of them being, he's going to allow the state parks here in Georgia to stay open, and uh, well, that's great. I was really bluesing that for a while. I've got a couple of toys here I want to get out and play with. Uh, again, we've got to maintain that six foot rule and uh, treat everybody like they've got a wicked cold. That's, that's what I'm going to do. So, a couple of things I want to do different today. I've got, this is a, an antenna we built at one of our, our club get togethers. It's a uh, ladder line J pole for two meters. And uh, I have tested it in the backyard, but I have not taken it to the field. So I'm itching to try that. I haven't even taken FM uh, to the field before. I'd like to try to do a POTA activation from my local uh, park up at FD Roosevelt and, and try this thing out from the ridge. Good elevation up there. Like to do that. Going to take the uh, Yaesu FT 2900. That's a good radio. It's got some good power to it. So this antenna should be able to handle it. And another toy, and as I'm using right now, uh, my camera came in. Another a Canon Vixia HFR 800. Uh, try not to spend too much money on camera equipment, but I needed a little bit more than what I had to get 1080p quality. But anyways, uh, hang with me. We're going to ride up to FD Roosevelt State Park and try a little FM simplex today. Okay, I'm all set up in the backyard uh, trying to follow one of my rules that I, that I have that if you're going to try anything remotely different than what you normally do in the field, uh, set it up in the backyard and test it first and this is what I'm doing. Got the Yaesu Radio FT2900 set up on a simplex frequency. I've got it battery power into an SWR meter and I've taken the window line J pole and I've strung it up just about I don't know, 15 or 20 foot up in this tree and have done a couple checks already and it's working really good. We'll look at the uh, SWR on it. Uh, that came out really good. And it's working well, about 1.3. So I'll call that a go. So we'll get things packed up and uh, right up to the ridge. And Let's take a closer look at this antenna before we head out to the field. And I'll show you some measurements. This was one of our club builds and uh, it was built out of 450 ohm window line. It was actually stranded window line. That way you can roll it up many times and not have a problem. The way I'm measuring it here, it's 57 and a half inches long, but I would cut it one inch longer because on each end you're going to fold, fold it together and solder it right there. I've got it kind of wrapped with electrical tape. That's the top of it. And we did the same thing down here on this end fold it together and solder it. And the connection, the coax connection, is right here. This is actually, the insulation was stripped off and you connect the, uh, the center lead to this side and the braid over here. And then, but you don't solder it until you tune it. And then you slide up and down to decide where you want it to be resonant. And there's one more spot and one more measurement I need to take for you on where it actually turns into a J. Again, it's all connected all the way up to the top, comes back down, but it's cut right here. There's about a one inch gap right here. So that kind of makes it into the letter J. Okay, measuring from the side that's cut, from the very bottom, 
it measures up to 19 inches and it looks like a one inch cut in there leaving nothing connected there and that, that's just where mine's measuring out if I can find the uh, build sheet I'll, I'll put it on at the end of the video but uh, yeah totally disconnected there that makes the J and we have a about four foot piece of a good quality RG58 coax connected to a female end like an SO239 and with that I should be able to connect any any coax I need to it here's our setup here on the picnic table found a good spot here on the 520 simplex frequency and we've got our antenna up in this tree we can follow the coax there yeah the J pole hanging from the limb all right well, let's uh let's get on the air CQ CQ Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango monitoring 520 simplex. Kilo Yankee 7 Delta Romeo. Good deal. You're coming in uh, about 100% up here. How copy? Copy you just fine. I'm getting uh, full bars, a little bit of sizzle on you, but 100% copy. You uh, up in the park? AD4XT monitoring 520 simplex. MBP4GL, AD4 X-ray Tango. This is Kilo November 4, Oscar November Bravo. AD4XT, AD4XT, Whiskey 8, Julie Victor Fox. Okay, stand by, uh, everybody. Let me pick up uh, John, WB4GLJ. Go ahead, John. Yeah, good afternoon, Steve. You sounded good. Um, little noise but uh, perfect copy so uh, it's doing great so have a good time hey appreciate it john i've got you about uh, about halfway on the meter but full copy full copy thank you in 73 can you hear me okay go let's go to the station oscar november bravo again okay it's uh k and 4 omb larry we're right on right down below you here uh Keys Gap. We were just wondering if this radio was working, Joey. Oh, yeah, 100% full quieting. You sound like you're uh, sitting here at the table next to me. Okay, well, it was just about our. <laughs> uh, we live out, we're just outside of Roosevelt State Park where the stables are. Uh, as you, uh, well, that rock bridge you crossed over, we're about a, a quarter mile below it. AD4XT monitoring 520 simplex. AD4XT, this is KA4MEW. I heard the call. AD4XT, KA4OMB, Larry again. Uh, Steve, I got just a little quick uh, question or two for you if you got time. WX4RDM. WX4RDM, copy AD4XT from Pine Mountain, testing the J-Pole antenna. How's it going, Randy? Doing just fine. I just have to readjust my squelch. AD4XT, monitoring from Pine Mountain. Anyone for a test? Kilo 4, Juliet Delta Kilo. K4JDK, you sound like just normal FM. How's it going there? Nice, D. Yeah, you are uh, got you about 40 over here. Uh, as a crow flies, I'm probably only about, well, I'd say probably under 15 miles, between 10 and 15 miles from you. But, yeah, sounds great. Okay, I, I bumped it back down on 5 watts there. I had been running about 20, 25 uh, for most of it, yeah. If I have to, I can get on high power, but I'll be cooking hot dogs on this thing if I do that. Yeah, no doubt. That drops down to about a S8, S9. Oh, I also dropped my level. Does that make much difference on you? Uh, just a couple of bars, but you're still 100%. 
Good deal. All right, well, sounds like the antenna is doing good for you. So I'll go ahead and clear on out with you, let you uh, get a, a little more footage and a, a few more calls on the log there. But enjoy this beautiful day, and we will catch up with you later on after the quarantine's over with. 73 to you, 84XT, K4JDK. Okay, Jamie, I appreciate you jumping out there. Go wake up Matt, a couple of those Matts, and get them to holler. 84XT, 73. AK4PY. AK4PY, 84XT from Pine Mountain. How copy? Hey Steve, well, uh, you're pegging my little meter here, uh, and I'm sure you're stronger than it can even read. So we're not very far. I'm, I'm, I can't be six miles south of you. Um, uh, maybe seven, I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, real strong signal here. Sounded real good. I can hear Jamie out there too. Um, how many is this for you? I just heard Jamie. I was walking by the office and had uh, had the radio set here and turned up so I'd hear it. But uh, uh, am I number two or, or have you got a bunch of us already? Okay, good deal. Yeah, uh, it's a good deal for everybody to get out there and test their simplex. You know, sometimes we have to go to it and uh, this is a good test to see what you got at home. So anyways, I appreciate you coming to the call, Barry, and uh, we'll chat with you later. AK4PY from 84XT. See you later, AK4PY. 84XT, this is W4BWO. W4BWO from 84XT. We're in Pine Mountain, running low power. How copy there, Bennett? You sound excellent to me, Steve. I'm down here in uh, Casita. You're reaching down here just fine. Am I coming into you pretty good? Yeah, I would call it probably a five and seven, full hundred percent copy. You're breaking squelch and everything good. So uh, a good chance to uh, test that simplex there. Go ahead. Yeah, this would be uh, my first uh, simplex uh, talk chat here. Uh, I've never used simplex really myself before, or at least successfully, I should say. Well, I've got quite a bit of elevation up here on this ridge, probably 12, 1300 foot, and this antenna we built at the club build is really working good, and it's holding the uh, anything I throw at it for power. W4NKL from 84XT, Pine Mountain, Georgia. Go ahead. Hey, bud. I couldn't pick up at the house. Uh, house in the truck. Came to the top of the hill over there on double churches. Uh, how copy? I've got you a couple of bars, a little flitter there. I turned it up a little bit since you're mobile, but uh, I got you 100% there. Go ahead. Roger, I'm a 50 watt, so I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. But uh, enjoy your day, bud. Take care. W4 and K, all clear. K4BLL. K4BLL from 84XT, Pine Mountain, Georgia. How's it going, Bill? Hey, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, Steve. Hope you're having fun up there. You're had a little bit of white noise, but you're perfectly readable before you bumped your power up for uh, Keith. Now you got rid of most of that white noise, but you're perfectly readable before. How am I on medium power? Oh, medium power's just fine. It's lighting up two of my three bars, or I'd say six of my nine bars, so 100% there. Go ahead. All right, terrific. Just uh, had to re rework my power supply issues, so uh, happy to get here before you left. Um, had, a, had a battery die and that kind of confused the whole, the whole wiring diagram. But you have a good day up there, Steve. Enjoy it. K4BLL. Operating portable in Pine Mountain, Georgia. Go ahead. Roger, I got you now. Uh, head squelch a little high. Uh, my name is Carlos. I'm in Columbus. I listened to you guys and, and you were talking about being there, so I thought I would try. Over. I'll let you go. I appreciate you coming back at me. I didn't realize I had the squelch so high. Got a nice adjustment there by talking to you. So you have a good rest of your day. This is W4, WMU clear. KD4XT, KO4CCE. KO4CCE, uh, full copy here in Pine Mountain, Georgia. The name's Steve. Go ahead. This, this is Joe. I wanted to let you know you had another contact. Kilo Mike 4, Papa Juliet Juliet from 84XT Pine Mountain. Uh, how copy? Sounds great.
great from where I'm at. How about me? It's up to you. Yeah, hundred percent. Are you at the house or are you up in Geneva? I'm at the house here in Columbus. Man, was that a ghost I just heard on the air? KM4 MSY. KM4 MSY from AD4 XT. What you know there, man? I, I thought I heard a ghost on the air there for a second. Uh, yeah, how copy uh, Simplex from Pine Mountain? Oh, you're uh, probably uh, five seven five eight on my mobile. That's cool. How many contacts have you made? I think you will be twenty one. Alrighty, Steve. Sounds good. Y'all have fun up there. This KM four MSY seventy three. Well, that was successful. Uh, Seventeen contacts on. FM Simplex 146.520. That even qualifies for a parks on the air activation. Appreciate it, everybody. Yeah, tested out Simplex. Does it work? Yeah. Does the J pole antenna we built work? Yeah, it works extremely well. And it's very portable. And you can take it and find you some elevation somewhere and have a really good time with it. I did so today. So, if you like today's video, how about subscribing and give it a like. I appreciate the view today and hope you take care. 84 XT for Ham Radio Portable. 73 everybody. My cameraman helper here is going to demonstrate how to get into an Eno hammock. Well, there you go. If that's some information you've ever wanted, you've got it. <laughs>